It's very reminiscent of the attacks in Nice. So people will be drawing parallels even before uh, the person who did this is actually apprehended. Uh, if it turns out to have been something else, maybe that will mitigate the effects. But the assumption that people will have going in is that it was some form of jihadist who was following al-Qaeda's orders to use whatever tools are available to uh, kill infidels wherever you can, uh, mimicking that Nice attack, and then uh, doing a lot of damage in Germany. And even if it was not someone who came in because of the refugee policies that Angela Merkel has put in place, people will nonetheless blame those policies because it led in a lot of people. And so that political effect is certainly something that's going to be felt. Are they, well, they're certainly worried that the, that process is used as cover for people who, who don't deserve refugee status. Uh, it's important because she's running for office. Exactly. And if she doesn't win, there are implications for Europe at large. There's implications for the euro as well. I mean, Indeed. every time we see these attacks, it, it feels like we get closer and closer to this possibility of EU disintegration. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call it EU disintegration, but it's certainly a lack of leadership in Europe and an inability to come to grips with some of these very daunting challenges. You mentioned uh, the euro debt crisis, which has never been fully addressed. You have the refugee crisis and the inability to control Europe's external borders. And you have external challenges such as the, the conflict in Syria or Russia's uh, encroachments in the east. And Europe has just not been an effective player in dealing with those. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.